You don't even have to be in competition. You don't have to be in competition. Develop in a, an incremental way and develop at your own natural pace. That is the argument I am making. Look, the yawning gap between the rich and poor continues to widen. I had a friend who was into agriculture. He is called Bonaventure. He has investments in Francophone West Africa. He's interested in agriculture. This gentleman was using an Escalade some years ago. And he said when you got to a traffic intersection, somebody said in tree, because he had rolled his glasses, you are the ones chopping government money. <laughs> so to the dog chain seller on the road, your flashy ostentational show of success is like a smite on his face. And this thing continues increasing. I've given you a catchment area to look at. Late at night, some of the neighborhoods have houses with lights turned off. Nobody lives there. And people are crammed up in kiosks. There's going to be a spillover. Inequality in the country. Exactly. So I think, let's hasten slowly. Nobody is against development, but you develop mirroring the understanding of your people, the socioeconomic appreciation of what you are doing, and most importantly, demystify projects to them. The budget reading that was done, if you ask an ordinary tomato seller what was said, or the major budget that was read, the person, GDP, they don't understand these things. That is not to say we shouldn't go to school to appreciate what government is doing on the macro level. Please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. But I believe as a third world country, we need to develop. But let's not mirror our development against first world countries that at some point have to go through the process. Some will say, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Kantanka did uh, an exhibition of his latest, well, you know, yeah. over the weekend. And people's feelings have been a bit mixed. Mm. Oh, people think, oh, this is good enough. With a little more encouragement, the man and his team can do more. Some people also ah, as we are thinking of planes that fly, you are creating a vehicle that looks like a plane that doesn't mm. fly. <laughs> so it tells you how varied the appreciation of development and industrialization is. Mm. So that is why I think it is very important. Outreach is important. Mm. Reach out to the people. Explain things to people in a language they understand. And based upon their own appreciation of what development. Then when someone tells you it is not roads we eat, <laughs> you would be able to mount a spirited defense that we need the road yeah. to get the tomato from the farm to the end consumer. Mm. So for me, I'm concerned about the way we view development leaving behind yeah. more than half of the population. This could come back, the chicks will come back to roost if the right mechanisms are not put in place. Look, I, I, I can see that you were doing a lot of writing. Maybe I just yes, yes. Uh, I was trying to come <laughs> in with a few things on uh, real estate and, and uh, yeah. policies and their impact. I think that, that, that was the direction you were going. Yeah. Now, I believe that before we 2020, okay. right?